Okay, here we have the Erie 974 operating box car. This is the one that came out of the 5585 uh, H set that I've been working on. Uh, it's been sticking a little bit. I did a little trial on it and um, it needs a little bit of service. So I was gonna go through what I plan to do and uh, we'll just see if it helps out. So uh, let's take a look. So we're gonna go ahead and try something here. Um, we're gonna to service the car. Normally you'd wanna take the shell off of the frame, but the problem with that is on these later cars, they didn't use screws to attach them. They used um, little brass pins. You can kind of see that there. Um, so in the corner, there's these little brass pins and they require some some special technique in order to get those off now i've seen some folks uh, on youtube that have they try to get in here and they try to pry it out and then they get underneath and they pry and they have a little pry bars and um it, i mean it'll work for it but it's also a good way they're in there good and you could break that car doing that method so something my uncle showed me way back when was actually you use a soldering iron. You heat up the pin and it melts the plastic retaining uh, tube inside just enough. And then you're able to get a screwdriver up underneath or perhaps a pliers and get them on there. But for this car, I really don't want to try that. Um, this is a little bit more of a rare car and I'm just going to try to oil it from uh, outside and I think I have a way to do that. So the way these cars work there's a wire wrapped solenoid inside and what it does and back in here there's a spring on a, on a rod and when you activate the car it activates the electromagnet inside and that's what slides everything over and that's what allows the little fella to come out. So if you look back in there, it's a little hard to see right now, but there's actually a slide bar that helps open the door. You can see the brass pin right here. And in the back, there's some sliding rods. And where the, uh, the solenoid tube, the spring wrapped uh, metal rod goes through the solenoid, it's metal on metal and it can get uh, dried out. So uh, we're gonna give it um, a little bit of a try with something I discovered here. So I am gonna do it with LaBelle 107. And something, you know, how am I gonna get that in there? Well, something that's been really nice is LaBelle has come up with a, uh, a tube that you can reach into a certain areas. So what we're gonna do is try and reach back in there and we're gonna oil the solenoid, the spring and the rod. There's a little pin that's right down here that holds a swing arm that swings the little man. And uh, I might even try to oil the rod that goes in the back over here. So let's give it a shot. So it took me a little while to get this shot set up, but I wanted to show you how that spring arm system works in there. So if we open the right side door, you'll notice on the, the very top, you can see the, you can see the, uh, the rod and the spring. And then down here is where you have the little slide arm. So when I open the door on the right, you'll see the, it's sliding through and it activates that little arm which essentially puts the guy out uh, and kicks the boxes out. But when we release it, there's an obvious bind um, in the system right over here. So we're gonna try to oil this. I'm gonna oil this rod back here and we'll start there. Um, eventually, I'm just gonna try to do little drops of oil on the, um, the rollers for the conveyor 
see how that one's kind of sticking. So maybe that will help with the boxes to roll down and be ejected. So I've got the needle oiler in there. I'm just going to give a, just a little itty bitty drop of oil right there. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to pop a little drop of oil on this little rivet right there, just a touch, and then back in along our little rod right there. So we're going to see if that helps our system a little bit. So just by doing that, and it's already springing back. Look at that. So when the thing activates, oh, still have some troubles there. But it's working a lot better than it did. We might just get a little bit more oil on there. Maybe a little more in the system. And I think we've got a pretty good operating So our next step in this process is just to apply a little bit of oil to the rollers and get them some lubrication going. So we noticed this guy was sticking earlier, so these are fairly easy. We can get a little drop right there, and we'll just apply little drops in these little holes right there. Now on the other side, you know, it's just... Um, this Labelle 107, it's plastic compatible. It's not gonna hurt anything. So if we actually put a little drop on the far side, it really won't hurt anything. You know, you might say, well, it'll get dirty after a while, but I think if we go ahead and, uh, and uh, just uh, run that a little bit, it's gonna soak in. And I'm thinking we'll get a little better action on the boxes. So I'll do the rest of those and we'll see how it comes out. So that was a simple way to service this uh, Erie operating car. So as you can see uh, we've got a little bit of better rolling uh, rollers and uh, the kicker kicks a little bit better tracks in there and uh, I think we're gonna have a nice running car. Well let's give our 974 area a try. Kicked one, kick two. All right we got two left let's see if we can load them. There's one, there's two. Oh wait he didn't want them. He's telling the guy, okay, out it goes. There they are, unloaded. Successful test. We'll catch you next time. Hall of Science West. The YouTube channel that loads them up the way the real railroads do.